I, don't, I cannot tell you the moment when I actually learned how to play chess. Because unfortunately, nobody was there to tweet about it. Yeah, it, it was um, a winter evening, 68, 69. My parents uh, tried to solve a chess puzzle from a local newspaper. And, uh, and I just discovered the, the mystery of this, of this little wooden chess board. You know, you know, 64 squares, 32 pieces. Nobody told me how to move the pieces. I learned by just watching them, you know. So, and, and at one point, you know, I revealed that I knew some of the secrets. And um, it was match made in heaven. So very quickly, you know, so they just recognized that instead of sending me to a music school, because all my parents, uh, from my, my father's side, uh, all his uh, relatives were musicians. Um, that's a Jewish side. So, um, uh, and, um, and he said, no, no, no. It just, you know, that's the... That's, that's not for Gary, so he has a different kind of mind. So, so, and I was sent to a chess club at age seven. It's, sadly, it was his last decision. He, yeah, uh, he died from leukemia at, when I was seven. And uh, for the next 50 years, so I was um, under the divine shield of my mother, who sadly passed uh, last uh, Christmas you know, from COVID. And, um, and she that. spent her entire life you know, working for me, for her only son. And, um, and um, that was the beginning. That was the beginning, and uh, very quickly I realized that uh, chess would be my life. Um, but also I realized that it's not just about chess, and that's another important lesson from my mother. So yes, chess is about winning and losing. Of course, it's about winning. Um, but it's also about making the difference. And that's, that's, that was a fundamental you know, like message to me that I carried throughout. My, my entire life, and that's why I could rebuild my life after I left professional chess in 2005, because it's it's about making a difference, and that's answer to your first you know question. It's about intensity. If I'm in, you know, I have to try to make the difference. Maybe not as much as I did in the world of chess, but anywhere. So I believe that we can make a contribution. So, and that's the like a motto of my life. So it's the I even had it on the top of my of my bed. She put it when I was 11 or 12. If not you, who else? I mean, just don't complain about others. Don't complain about weather conditions. Wow. This is about you. Powerful. So this is, you can do whatever yep. you want as long as you're in. So, and you devote yourself to, again, whatever task you have selected. Gary, how much of the drive, was there any, you said your father passed away when you were seven years yep. old. How much drive came from there to want to make him proud? Was there any drive where you're like, I'm going to go out there and do something big to leave a legacy for the last name? Was there anything there? Look, I, I, absolutely. So it's uh, and again, this is the fact is that my mother never remarried, and she just, you know, she she made this big sacrifice. You know, um, I I knew that I had to I had to be up to the challenge. So, look, we still need a little bit of luck, you know, with with our professional career. Even if you have a talent and you're a hard worker. Mm -hmm. And by the way, it's I always, you know, argue with people who say, oh, he or she, you know, is a, has a great talent, uh, um, or other way around, actually. It's not so talented, but has, you know, is a hard worker. I believe the hard work is also talent. So again, that's another lesson Interesting. mother. Interesting. Oh, so you believe well, a person who works hard, that is a form of a talent. It's, of course, it's a talent. You know, this is exactly it. Look, talent is something that is possessed by few or not everybody. And we know that not everybody is a hard worker. So, which means working hard is a talent. And when you combine it with your natural talent mm -hmm. for chess, for uh, whatever, so just whatever field you, you, you selected, so that's, that's an explosive combination. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.